Hello guys, we continue exploring new features and changes in the new Laravel 11 and today we'll be talking about routing and specifically about API routes and new syntax for versioning, prefix and stuff like that in Bootstrap app PHP. And yes, by the way, today is Friday where I usually publish video from my car, but we have so many things to talk about in Laravel 11 that I decided to skip this week philosophy from my car and talk about the main thing even on Friday. Videos from my car will be back probably next week. And also a quick reminder that this week I have 40% discount on Laravel Daily Premium Membership on yearly and lifetime plans with coupon code Laravel 11. So you still have a few days to take that offer. Now back to the topic. Here's the new Laravel 11 project with routes file that are registered by default in Bootstrap app PHP. Before Laravel 11 there was a file called route service provider and as a part of that spring cleanup that I call it slim skeleton Laravel 11 Taylor removed all service providers except for the main thing app service provider and even that one is empty in favor of features to be auto-guessed or auto-completed or in this case registered not in service providers but in the main kind of configuration file that became bootstrap app. So first tip if you want to have your own routes file you need to register it here and the syntax for that if we take a look at Laravel docs routing customization there's then syntax where you can add your own routes file like this. It can be one file or it can be many files. So there are kind of reserved keywords for web, commands and others and API which we'll get to in a minute but then is for kind of everything else. Or of course alternatively you can go to routes web and then just include other files inside of the routes web as a PHP syntax with include or require. Now let's get to the API. By default API is not enabled in Laravel 11 so there are no API routes registered. To add API to our application we have to run command php artisan install api which will change that file and add routes api here and will create that file almost empty. Also will install Laravel Sanctum which is not installed by default. Migration publish ok run it and now if we refresh we have this routes API and if we click that this is the generated routes API file. So now for example if we have user controller simple API controller in the routes API we can do route get users and then user controller class with index method I forgot that it's array like this and in the postman or any API client of your choice we send and we get the result the list of users. And if you're not that familiar how to build APIs in Laravel I have a special course which was actually recently refreshed to Laravel 11 as a few other courses. This one how to build Laravel 11 API from scratch. So I will link that in the description below. But another question is how to customize stuff about that API. Pretty typical customization is about versioning. So what if you want to have the URL, the endpoint, not API users, but API v1 users with potential future of v2 users like this. How to configure that in Laravel 11? And the answer is another parameter of with routing feature which is called API prefix. By default the value is API but you can change that to slash v1 for example. So now if we launch that in API postman now it works with v1 but if we delete that it wouldn't work with API and would show 404 not found. In this case by the way I didn't specify the header to accept application JSON that's why it returns HTML. So another kind of tip to avoid that in the headers accept with value application json and we resend again and there we go we have json response. So yeah this is how you customize the versioning for v1 but then wait how do we then customize v2? Should it be array of prefixes or what? And this is where we fall back to the same syntax of then. Here's an example from our tutorial about API versioning which was also actually recently revisioned and updated to Laravel 11. So this is the syntax. You just register additional specific route group with API v2 or whatever is your separate route file called. So yeah, these are the changes for routing and specifically for API. What do you think about them? 
how quickly you will get used to the Laravel 11 syntax, let's discuss in the comments below. But that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.